Do video games use the law of cosines? The answer may surprise you. Let's take a look at a math problem that comes up in video games. In the middle of our coordinate grid is a security camera that's looking towards the coordinates AX, AY. The camera's field of vision extends in an arc centered on that point. At another point is a ninja trying to avoid being seen. We want to know if the ninja is inside the camera's field of view. In other words, whether the angle theta is less than the angle F. To do that, we'll draw this triangle. We can calculate the sides of the triangle using Pythagoras, and then use the law of cosines to solve for theta. Can I help you? Hey, you're cheating. That's not how we do it in a video game. We use a dot product. OK, so it turns out we're not quite done. Here we have the law of cosines, which gives us c squared in terms of a, b, and theta. And here we have Pythagoras, which gives us c squared in terms of the coordinates of the endpoints. With a little bit of algebra, we can rearrange the second one to look like the first one. And if these two equations are both true, then these parts have to be equal to each other. This gives us a much simpler formula for theta. Wait a minute, that's just... That's right. This operation is very common in vector math. So much so that it has its own name and its own notation. We call it the vector dot product, and we write it a dot b. So the dot product is just the law of cosines in disguise? Always has been. So if you've ever been spotted by an NPC in a video game, you've seen the law of cosines in action. Want to learn more? Follow this link for an interactive demo. Algebra hand.